Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology and this is your weekly update in ophthalmology and eye care. Coming to you live this week from Chicago at the annual meeting of ASCRS. Today is the first day of the meeting and it's great to be back here in Chicago. It's a very special city for me as I did my cornea and refractive surgery fellowship here. The meeting started off today with cornea day and I'd like to give you the details that we learned today about endothelial keratoplasty or inner layer corneal transplantation. We got to hear from two great leaders in the field, Dr. Mark Terry and Dr. Frank Price, who explained to us the two primary types of this surgery, DSEC, D-S-E-K, and DMEK, D-M-E-K. First, DSEC is the most popular procedure today which involves transplanting the back layers of the cornea in people that have swelling of the cornea or failure of the inner layer which can cause clouding. This procedure has been around for more than 10 years and has been a great alternative to a full thickness corneal transplant in the patients with these problems. The two doctors compared for us the advantages and disadvantages of both of the procedures and DSEC, D-S-E-K, has been shown to be a more repeatable and less complicated surgery that has a little bit less best corrected vision for the patients in the end. In this procedure, a thin layer of cornea, uh, about the thickness of a sheet of paper, or a little bit larger is placed against the back layer of the patient's cornea and held into place by an air bubble. This usually attaches over the first day and patients begin to see better usually over the first month or longer. DMEC is a newer procedure where a very thin layer is placed back against the back surface of the cornea. This layer may be about 10% the thickness of a sheet of paper and because of this being very thin this tissue is extremely hard to handle and there's a great learning curve for doctors to be able to use this technique. But in the end it's been shown that this procedure has advantages of better vision for the patients after the surgery and then also a lower chance of rejection which is great for many patients because we want to try and make these grafts survive the best they can. I'd like to give you more details about both of these procedures in future episodes but for now that's all the time we have so thanks for joining us and we hope to see you again soon on our next episode of A State of Sight.